Our story today is called Down on the Funny Farm by P.E. King, illustrated by Alistair Graham. This is a story I think you're really going to like. When you are listening to this story, I want you to think about who the characters are and think about where the story takes place or the setting of the story. Also think about the author's purpose. Why would the author write this story? Here we go. Once there was a farmer, but he did not have a farm. So one day he set up, he set off to find one. Soon the farmer met an old man. The old man was hard at work. Hello, said the farmer. What are you doing this fine day? I am pitching hay, said the old man. But where is your pitchfork? asked the farmer. The old man held up a table fork. A pitchfork is a, a giant sized fork. It looks like the fork we eat with, only it's not silver. It usually has a wooden handle, but it has a big um, end on it so that you can scoop up a lot of hay. Isn't it hard to pitch hay with that little fork? asked the farmer. Yes, said the old man. It is very hard. I am old and tired. I do not want to work on my farm anymore. Do you know anyone who wants to buy a farm? asked the old man. I sure do, cried the farmer. A farm is just what I am looking for. How much does your farm cost? Two dollars, said the old man. Two dollars? Are you crazy? said the farmer. Well, if two dollars is too much, then how about one dollar? asked the old man. After all, my farm has a horse, a rooster, a dog, a chicken, a pig, and a cat. Most people don't sell their home or their farm or a piece of property for just one dollar. Sold, cried the farmer. He gave the old man one dollar. The farmer was so happy. What good luck that I met you, he said. The old man was happy too. He threw his fork away and danced down the road. Then the farmer went to see his new farm. A farm wagon stood in the barn door. That is just what I need to carry the hay, said the farmer. Just then he heard a soft noise. Whinny, whinny. That must be the horse, said the farmer. I will hitch it to the wagon. He went into the barn. He did not see a horse. But he did see a cat. It was hitched to the wagon. The cat pulled and pulled, but the wagon did not move. Winnie, 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 said the cat. The farmer laughed. You are not a horse. You are a cat. What are you doing hitched to a wagon? Winnie, Winnie, answered the cat. The farmer went outside to find the horse. Then he heard another noise. Cock-a-doodle-doo! -doo. The farmer looked up, and what did he see? A horse! The horse was on the barn roof. Cock-a-doodle-doo! crowed the horse. What in the world are you doing up there? cried the farmer. What does that horse think he is? If you said a rooster, you are right. You are not a rooster. You are a horse.
He thinks he's a rooster. There is something funny about this farm, said the farmer. He set off to find the rooster. Behind the barn was a garden. There was the rooster. The rooster was busy burying a bone. What does the rooster think he is? A dog. Woof, woof, barked the rooster. No, 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 said the farmer. You are not a dog. You are a rooster. Then the farmer set off to find the dog. He found the dog in the hen house. The dog was sitting on a nest of eggs. What does that dog, what does the dog think, what does the dog think he is? Look. Cluck, 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 said the dog. No, 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 cried the farmer. You are not a chicken. You are a dog. Now where on earth can the chicken be? He did not have to look far. The chicken was in the pig pen. It was rolling around in the mud. Oink, 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 squealed the muddy chicken. Oh, you dumb cluck. You are not a pig. You are a chicken said the farmer. I think the farmer is getting a little frustrated. Look at his face. <laughs> the farmer looked and looked for the pig. At last, he found it in the farmhouse. It was chasing a mouse around the kitchen. What does the cat think he is? Sorry, I gave that one away. Meow, meow, said the pig. This is all wrong, cried the farmer. Pigs do not chase mice. Cats do. You are not a cat. You are a pig. What a funny farm. And what funny animals. I can see I have a lot of work to do. First, the farmer took the horse to the wagon. He showed the horse how to be a horse. Winnie, 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 said the farmer. Winnie, 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 said the horse. Very good, said the farmer. Ah, remember sometimes we talk about that word encourage. The farmer encouraged the horse by telling him he did a good job. Next, the farmer took the rooster to the barn roof. He showed the rooster how to be a rooster. The farmer threw back his head. Cock a doodle doo, crowed the farmer. Cock a doodle doo, crowed the rooster. That's right, said the farmer. Then the farmer took the dog to the garden. He showed the dog how to be a dog. The farmer dug a big hole. He dropped the bone into the hole. Woof, woof, barked the farmer. Woof, woof, barked the dog. Good boy, said the farmer. Then the farmer showed the chicken how to be a chicken and the pig how to be a pig. And the cat, how to be a cat. At last, each animal was in the right place. Each animal was doing the right thing. And the farmer was happy. I think that farmer was a good teacher. 
The next day, the farmer went to work in his fields. I am lucky, he said, because I have a farm, but I am lonely because I do not have a wife. At that very moment, a lady came riding by. Did I hear you say that you want a wife? Asked the lady. I am looking for a husband. Your farm looks so nice and you look nice too. I will marry you, said the lady. So the farmer and the lady got married. The next day, the lady said to the farmer, I have a father. He has no place to live. Can he stay with us in our farm? The farmer answered, why, yes, of course. As soon as the farmer said this, the old man jumped out. When the lady saw the old man, she said, Dad! Who is this old man? When the cat saw the old man, it went to the wagon and said, Winnie, Winnie, Winnie. When the horse saw the old man, it climbed onto the barn roof and cried, crowed, cock a doo doo doo. What do you think happened to the rooster? The rooster ran to the garden with a bone and barked, woof, woof, woof. Then the dog sat on the eggs and said, cluck, cluck, cluck. The chicken jumped into the mud and squealed, oink, oink, oink. And the pig ran to the mouse hole and purred, meow, meow, meow. The old man put his arms around his daughter and his new son. We are going to be so happy together, he said. Do you think they lived happily ever after? I don't know about that. Now let's think about this. Where did this story take place? Where was the setting of this story? Where did it happen? If you said a farm, you were right. Think about the characters. Who, who would we say would be the main character in this story? Well, I think it would be the farmer because he was on every page. He was looking for a farm. He bought it. He helped the animals learn what to do. And he was still there at the end. But there was also the father-in-law or the, the old man, the wife, and the animals could be characters in the story. All right. So what about the author's purpose? Why do you think the author would write this story? I think he wrote it to make us smile, to make us laugh. And... I think also there is something we can learn from this story. Do you remember when the farmer was trying to teach the animals? What did he do with each one? He showed them what to do, right? And then they did it too. He was a good teacher. So sometimes you guys, we can all be good teachers if somebody needs to know something, how to do something. And we can help them if we show them we can be a good teacher too. Have a good day, guys.